Today I'm interviewing my sister Kathy. She has a story to tell or to tell the, everybody who is interesting in what she's saying because you know it's a good it's a good uh, it's a good event that took place in the story. I believe I believe this event uh, is true. Everyone involved in it uh, verified the story as being true, so it did happen. How much did they, like, what, what happened to my sister? Oh, uh, to my brother. My actually, my brother. My sister's telling a story about my brother. Um, lots of people go to similar. Uh, they're put in a similar situation as my brother, and it's mysterious. Kathy, I, I would like to uh, thank you for being here with with me as I interview you. Um, tell me your story. Well, is that my story? Is okay. my brother's story? Okay. And not my brother that's holding the phone. Is my uh, other brother. Okay. Okay. Now, <coughs> he's a mechanic, and he's mm -hmm. been going to the mechanic, another mechanic shop. Mm -hmm. You know, mechanics get along when they yeah. So help each other. So, um, he's been going to there for around twenty years. Uh -huh. Now there was a guy that used to work there, or we didn't know he didn't work there. Um, but every time my brother would go there, my brother would laugh with him, joke with him, and everything. So, what happened was my brother stopped going there for like three to four months. So, what happened was on Thanksgiving, it was a Saturday after Thanksgiving, my brother was coming home from coming from the mountains because that's where he, he spent Thanksgiving with his daughter there. So, when he was on one of the streets here, back in here in Philadelphia, um, it's right off of Shuttenham, on Shuttenham Avenue, um, what happened was, as he was driving home, he saw the guy that worked in the mechanic shop. He honked a horn at him. And the guy, as the guy was crossing the street, he looked at my brother and he started waving to my brother and smiling at my brother, saying hi to my brother. And my brother was saying hi back to him. They were both happy to see each other because they haven't seen each other for a while. So my brother was happy to see him. So then um, two days ago, the I think it was the 30th of November, my brother went back to the, um, that mechanic shop and they were there talking and all that. My brother told the owner, hey, guess who I saw? I saw so-and-so and, -so, and uh, I waved to him. Me and him were waving at each other. He was crossing the street. We were waving, waving at each other and we smiled at each other or anything. And then the owner of the business said, no, it could not be him. And my brother kept saying, yes, it was him. I know him. I joke with him, and know I know who he is. That was that was him. And they said it's impossible. And my brother said, "No, it cannot be impossible." And then he said, "Why is it impossible?" And then it turned around that the owner took his phone and showed my brother that that person that he was waving hi to died in the beginning of November. So my brother's like, "Huh?" He goes, "Yeah." So as he was waving to my brother, I think it was just him waving goodbye to him because my brother didn't know he had passed away. So my brother was um, knew it was him, and he thinks it was just him saying goodbye to him. What picture did the uh, did this uh, owner of this business show uh, Stanley or your brother? He showed him the um, the funeral paper that he was told that they had a. The viewing and stuff, the, the information on there. So then, and that, so then it did happen. Yeah, it did happen, and he knew my brother knew for sure it was the guy. And that it was his ghost or spirit. It was his spirit. Yeah. Well, don't forget, we all have spirits. We're all spirits. We just using this body, but uh, our body, or we inside is not my spirit. That's why our body goes into the goes into the ground when we die, but our spirits live. Okay, so, um, you know, lots of people have almost a similar story uh, that you have. How some other people they know saw people who were passed away, but they didn't know it, and they talked to them and everything, and later on they found out the person was already dead. And the crazy thing is, is that my brother, that brother, he doesn't believe in that spirit world. He doesn't believe in anything. No, he doesn't. Stuff. So when it did happen to him, yeah. he was, like, really shocked because... 
He's not into that stuff. He's not. When we talk about it, he thinks we're crazy. Yes. So he's really, really like, wow. And he went, he went through it himself. Yeah. Now, he, now, now it's up to him to figure out how much he's going to believe or not. Right, exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Kathy, for, uh, for letting me interview you. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Well, people, that's the mysteries of life, right? We experience um, the unusual, and then we think about how we're going to uh, receive it and believe in it. Mm -hmm. All right, have a good day. Over and out. Bye-bye.